In this episode of the Cocktail Spirit, we're going to look at a drink that I think deserves to be considered a modern classic, the Red Hook by Vincenzo Errico. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. In this set of episodes, we're talking about modern classics, or, or better yet, drinks that I think deserve to be modern classics. Now, what would it mean for a cocktail to be a modern classic? Well, I think it needs to be approachable. And by that, it needs to be tasty. It needs to be a drink that bartenders know how to make. It needs to be a drink that customers know to order. And it needs to be a drink that all bars would have the necessary ingredients to be able to make it on the moment. In this episode, we're going to look at the Red Hook Cocktail by Vincenzo Errico. He created this cocktail at Milk and Honey Bar in New York. Now, here in Washington State, when we think of Red Hook, we think of the Red Hook beer. In other parts of the country outside of Washington State, they actually think of the Red Hook area in New York, and that's what this drink was named after. Now, Vincenzo wanted to make a drink using fairly straightforward ingredients, but providing a flavor combination that might be a little bit challenging to people. It would take, and using the, the dryness of the Maraschino liqueur, as well as the bitter flavor of the puttimus. Now, puttimus is, is a vermouth, but it's got a bit more of a punch to it. Uh, it's almost like a vermouth that is pretending to be an Amaro, pretending to be Campari type of thing. So it's got a lot of really good flavor to it. You can, you can often use it in place of a sweet vermouth, but it's going to change the profile of the drink quite a bit. Uh, this particular drink is similar to a Manhattan. Um, it's using a rye whiskey as the base spirit. So you have rye whiskey, you have the punty mess, which is going to be the sweet vermouth plus the bitters, and then the sweetness coming in from the maraschino liqueur. Let's take a look. We're going to start off with two ounces of Rittenhouse whiskey. And then we're going to do a half ounce each of the punty mess. the maraschino. Add some ice. And give it a good stir. Now obviously we're stirring this drink because it's using all clear ingredients. And if we'd shaken it up, especially because of the punty mess and the maraschino liqueur, we'd get kind of an ugly looking foam on the top, which is not appetizing at all. Now we're going to strain this into a cocktail glass. Now, Vincenzo specifically said no garnish on this drink. So the Red Hook is an ungarnished drink. He says if you wanted to garnish the drink, you'd want to make sure you used a garnish that didn't change the flavor at all. So it wouldn't be a fruit garnish. It wouldn't be a vegetable garnish. Um, I suppose I could put a teeny pink flamingo maybe on the side of it perhaps, but Vincenzo probably wouldn't approve of that either. I think that's a, a delightful flavor combination. I mean, you, you have a drink that has that Manhattan sort of flavor going on, but then behind it, the maraschino liqueur is adding a dry and sweet combination that is really taking, adding a more, more boost to the character. So if you're a, a customer that really likes a Manhattan, you might want to take in Springboard and try using a Red Hook instead for your next order. Now, since most of the ingredients should be ingredients that a good quality bar will have on their back shelf, the maraschino liqueur is going to be one that the general purpose bar may not have. But hopefully we'll have this ingredient in a lot more bars soon, and so you'll be able to order this anywhere you want. And there you have the Red Hook Cocktail by Vincenzo Errico from Milk and Honey in New York, a drink I think deserves to be considered a modern classic.